Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make 8D audio, um, yeah, just how to make 8D audio. So for this you'll need Audacity and Premiere Pro. Um, so you want to open up Audacity and you need to drag. So you pretty much open a song and then drag the same song in just below it like so. There we go, and let's just zoom in a bit, there we go, that is perfect. Then go to selection thing, and then you want to click on the envelope tool up the top there, so just click on that one, beautiful. You just want to, up the top of the things, you just want to click them there and drag it down. This is at the top of the audio sequence. And then on the second track, make one at the start, but drag the first bit down. That, that'll mean that it'll pass through the ears. And also you're gonna wanna drag the left and right things up at the top, drag it to the left, down the bottom, to the right. And that will create the effect of the 8D audio. Anyway, so once that's done, it should look somewhat similar to this if I just zoom out. Yeah. And yeah, it, it'll look, it looks a bit strange, but it will sound pretty good. But this is not the entire 8D audio yet. This is just stereo. So you're going to want to open Premiere Pro and open it up and then you're going to want to drag your music clip into the sequence and also the video that you want to put over it. For this one I'm just going to put a picture that I edited earlier. So just like that, drag it along to the file size of the um, music and that's it playing there so then what you're going to want to do up the top is the effects thing you want to click on that up there and you want to type in stereo expansion stereo expander there it is and you click on that and then you go to effect controls which is top left and you see stereo expansion and you want to custom set up and edit and then drag it along all the way just like that and that will sound pretty good and then yeah that's pretty much it uh, to export it it's fire you control a and then file export and then you want to export it as H.264 that'll be the highest quality that you can get um, yeah that's it anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like and subscribe and yeah thanks for watching